Indexing is a data structure technique which allows you to quickly retrieve records from a database file. A single level index is a file containing values for a single column, typically a primary key, which point to a row containing the row that matches up to the column value. If an index column is unique, the index has one entry for each column value. However, the index column if it's not unique, then the index could have multiple entries for some column values or one entry for each column value followed by multiple pointers. A single level index is usually defined on a single column, but a multi-column index is where each index is a composite of multiple index column values. The create index command creates an index on the table. And you just say create index, then the name of the index, followed by on, and followed by the name of the table and the columns listed in parentheses. In the example diagram, there is an index on the state column in this, of the city table. Each column value is sorted in the index and has a pointer to the row where the state matches up. If the columns are not unique, then there, there is a new entry on, in the index. Each index can have multiple pointers to the same value as in the CA example, which points to San Diego and Compton. When the database is executing a select query, it can perform a table scan or an index scan. A table scan is when it reads table blocks directly without accessing the index, and an index scan reads the index blocks in order to find the table blocks it's looking for. The percent of table rows selected by a query is called a hit ratio. When a select query is executed, the database examines the WHERE clause and does a table scan if the hit ratio is high, or it looks for an index column with an index scan. If the hit ratio is low, then it scans the index. Note that if the WHERE clause doesn't include columns that are indexed, then the table scan is performed. Index scans are about 10 times faster than table scans, and that's why indexes are useful if you want an optimized database. And there are also some cases where a binary search may even be faster than an index scan. Binary search requires that the columns are sorted and it keeps splitting the rows in half until it quickly finds the results you're looking for. Similarly to looking in a phone book where you open it up in the middle and you're at letter M for McDonald's but you're trying to find Domino's Pizza so you eliminate the second half of the book and then you just keep repeating that process of splitting that first half of the book in the middle and then choosing a side and splitting that in the middle again, quickly narrowing, narrowing you down to what it is that you're searching for. There's three main types of indexes. There's primary index, which is an index on a unique sort column. Secondary index is an index that's not on the sort column. And a clustering index is an index that's on a non-unique sort column. And these indexes can be either dense or sparse. Dense is when it contains an entry for each table row. Sparse, con sparse contains an entry for each table block. Inserts, updates, and deletes to tables have an impact on single level indexes. With an insert, since a new row is added to the table, a new index needs to be created and placed in the right location. This involves moving things around, which could be time consuming or slow for large tables. And to help speed this up, the database just splits the index block and reall reallocates entries to the new block after it's created some space for the new entry. And then when you're doing a delete, when a row is deleted, the row's index entry needs to also be deleted. And this causes the issue of having to move around surrounding entries if one of them gets deleted. So to help speed up this process, the entries are simply marked as delete or deleted and the database could later on remove all entries marked for deletion and compress the index. Finally, if you're doing an update to the database, the index is not affected if there's an update to a column that is not indexed.